communication. Communication process is very significant in the field of education. We always see communication between teacher and learners, learners and learners, learners and the learning material. Let us understand what this communication process is. In this module, we will see two sub modules, concept of communication and need of communication. Objectives of this module are, at the end of this session, you will be able to define communication in your own words, explain the need of communication. Let us see the concept of communication so that you can define it in your own words. What is communication? Communication is the exchange of ideas, thoughts and feelings. Whenever we get some idea, we feel like sharing that idea with others and the communication starts. Sometimes we think and some nice thought clicks in our mind. That time we feel of sharing that thought to others and the communication starts. Otherwise, many a times we as human beings feel need of sharing our feelings to others. Whatever way we share our feelings, communication begins. Even when you are using social media, you will realize that you are always in the need, urge of sharing our ideas, thoughts, feelings with others. And we post something in our social media. Either we tweet or we write something on Facebook, we share our feelings, we share our experiences, we share new ideas and then other readers, friends in our group read and react to that. This is how communication process takes place. Let us see the formation of the term communication. The word communication comes from a Latin word communicare. Communicare means to bring on common platform. Now you can imagine that I have some piece of information. I want others also to possess the same piece of information. As far as that piece of information is concerned, I and others are not on equal platform not on equal level. So, I share that information with others and bring some commonness between me and the other persons who now know the same information. Communicare also means share. We have already seen that communication is sharing of ideas, thoughts and feelings. That is how the term communication is derived from the Latin word communicare. Communication is the transference and understanding of meaning. When we communicate, basically we transfer some meaning and we also try to make learner or the receiver understand the meaning. So if we say that senders and receivers are involved in communication, there is always transference of meaning from sender to receiver and understanding of meaning at the end of the receiver. Communication is also a process of sharing with each other. We share a lot of information with each other in our real life and whenever we share any information with others, we basically communicate. We also try to understand what information and feelings are conveyed by others. The way a sender shares information, the same way receiver is also trying to understand what information is conveyed and what feelings are conveyed by others. Let us now see need of communication. If we talk about classroom scenario, what do you think? Why do teachers interact with learners? What is the teacher in this picture doing? Is she imparting information? If yes, 
then imparting information can be the major need of communication in the classroom. But do we all agree to it? Do we all mean that teachers always only impart information through communication? Or are there any other needs of communication which arise in the class? Let's see. In this picture, teacher is telling learners to form groups of three each. She is giving instructions. Maybe she wants learners to do some project or group work. So many a times, whenever we wish that learners should perform some activities, we give instructions to the learners. Maybe in practicals we give instructions. Maybe for excursions we give instructions. For projects we give instructions. Let's see another need of communication. This girl is sharing with her friend how the day was great. So she is communicating to share her experiences. Many a times children reach home and they are full of various experiences throughout the day. So they are so eager to share their experiences with their parents. They keep on telling them how the day was, how they learned some new things, how they got scoldings from teachers sometimes, how they enjoyed during recess, etc. etc. We also share some experiences with our students when we give them some examples. Learners also share experiences with teachers if teachers allow them to share. We can also create interest through communication. This is a science teacher and he is trying to make science fun. He is trying to convince his learner that science is a fun and you can really take interest in learning of science. So we can create interest in many things through communicating properly with learners. Many a times through communication we give suggestions. Here a boy is giving suggestions to his friends how they can perform in better manner. Teachers also can go on giving suggestions for learners to perform in better manner instead of only imparting information to them. This will really help them in better learning. Is imparting information, giving instructions and giving suggestions the only task of a teacher? No. Teacher tries to develop various values and attitudes in learners. So changing attitude of a learner is also need of communication. Just by scolding and shouting and punishing learners, attitude will not change. So, teacher can continuously communicate, interact with the learner and try to change his or her attitude. Many a times we share our feelings through communication. You can see that the boy has got A plus grade and he is very happy. So, he is showing his progress card with enjoyment and trying to share his feelings. Teachers also need to give chance of sharing feelings to her or his learners. So we have seen that apart from teaching in the class, there are so many other needs which teachers can fulfill through effective communication. Let's think about it and let's make our classroom communication effective, interesting and rich.